Hello, my name is Greg Raymond. I'm with Eco Gardens. I'm standing on the world's largest monitor green roof at the Walmart in Chicago, Illinois. Some of the interesting facts about this green roof, it's 74,000 square feet, and it's only three to four inches in depth. The green roof is composed of several different components. The first component is a drainage layer. It's made out of 100% recycled foam. The foam is made up of 100% recycled running shoe soles and the remnants of automobile seats. The next layer would be a, a, a thin polypropylene geotextile. On top of that is the engineered soil, the green roof media. It is made of expanded clay, which is a, a lightweight aggregate, peat, compost, pine fines, sand. It's extremely lightweight. It has great drainage as well as moisture absorption capabilities. All of the plants on this roof are very, very drought tolerant. They are made up of sedums, which are a succulent plant in the, in the cactus family. They're very efficient in stormwater management. They absorb a lot of moisture and then also have the ability to get rid of it very quickly, which makes them an ideal plant for green roofs. Along with this, we have Petrohagia, which is commonly known as baby's breath. It is a very drought tolerant uh, perennial. And also we have uh, Dianthus, which is this plant right here, very drought tolerant. The interesting part about all of these plants is that they were established with unrooted cuttings and seed, which is very unique in, uh, with this roof itself. Because of the 50-50 split in roof surfaces, we've been able to study the differences between the vegetated and the non-vegetated roof surfaces. This here is a weather station that's providing on-site weather data. Some of the other data that's being collected on these roofs are roof temperature, stormwater runoff, both on the vegetated and the non-vegetated roofs, stormwater quality, runoff quality, and contaminants. Also part of Walmart's green design are these skylights scattered on the vegetated and non-vegetated roof areas, allowing natural daylight into the store. The green roof is approximately three years old and essentially fully vegetated. So within three years, this roof started with very limited coverage, and now we're at between 90 and 100% vegetated coverage.